so hello everyone so today i am going to discuss the role of filter in rectifier circuit so as you know that the output which you are getting from the rectifier that may be half wave rectifier may be full wave rectifier so that is not a perfect dc signal some ripples are mixed with the dc signal that means we can say the ac component are mixed with the dc signal okay but you know that the dc means okay it's not only about the polarity it should be constant with respect to time okay so there should not be any fluctuation there should not be any variation with respect to time okay so at any instant of time it will provide you a constant output okay so we can do that we can convert that pulsating dc signal which you are getting from the output of rectifier okay so we can smooth that and we can generate a constant output using a circuit that is called filter so basically filters are frequency selective elements the frequency selective networks okay by using filter we can eliminate the ac components now coming to the different types of filters okay in electronic circuits the commonly used filters are rc filters lc filters okay so as you know that we need to eliminate the ac that means we need to use some components which are frequency sensitive such as inductor and capacitor okay so depending upon the components okay, so there are different types of filters one is rc filter another one is lc filter rn filter is also there okay. so let us see how the filter works so this is an example of lc filter now see the inductor that is this one connected in series and the capacitor connected in parallel the reason is why the inductor connected in series because you know the inductive reactance xl equal to j2 pi fl assuming sinusoidal response and capacitive reactance xc equal to 1 by j 2 pi fc so for low frequency or a dc the inductive reactance is smaller and the reactance increases with frequency for inductor Okay, it's a proportional to frequency. Whereas for capacitor, it is inversely proportional to frequency. So that's why in DC with F equal to zero, this reactance X will be infinite and capacitor will be like infinite at DC condition. Okay. And when the frequency increases, the capacitive reactance will fall. Okay. So it is clear that when the AC signal appears, this inductive reactance will okay, this inductor will offer some reactance, which is uh, equals to this one, okay, two pi a fill. Okay. So AC signal cannot pass easily through the inductor. It will block the AC signals. Okay. So it will offer some reactance to the AC signal. But regarding DC, okay, when the DC signal is coming, because DC signal having frequency zero, so the DC signal will be easily passed from input to the output side. Okay. Similarly for capacitor, see, suppose at this point we are getting uh, some output so that is where some additional AC component is mixed, okay, that uh, bypass to the inductor also, okay. Now see, the capacitor will provide a low impedance path for those AC signal, because see, for AC signal, the capacitive reactance will fall and it is inversely proportional to the frequency, whereas for DC, the capacitor behaves like open circuit. So, so no DC component will flow through this, okay, so no DC component will appear here, okay. all DC component will be towards the load, okay, this one, and AC component will be bypassed filtered out to this capacitive network okay to ground so the output we are getting so that is only dc component okay this is the working mechanism of lc filter but similarly we can use only simple inductor okay, using a filter okay, but the performance will not be good as your lc filter because here only one inductor is used and it will just block some amount of ac and rest of the part will appear here at the output and this is our load resistance so the response of rl filter is not good enough the same circuit we can design using the RC filter. Now see here, at this point, the AC component will be bypassed through this capacitor, okay, and the remaining DC part will appear at the output. So the output you are getting that contain the DC part only because the AC part is already filtered out, okay, and it bypassed to ground. So this is the working mechanism of a simple RC filter. So depending upon the frequency, you need to select which filter will be suitable. So if you are working with a low frequency, generally for rectifier, that operating frequency is the AC frequency, rate, it is 50 hertz, okay. So here, 
to get a reasonable amount of reactance, inactive reactance, you know, XL equal to J2 by SL. Okay. When the A value is small, but uh, to block uh, the AC component coming from the 50 hertz frequency with a frequency of 50 hertz, okay, at this particular rate, so you need a higher value of inductance. Okay, the L value should be higher. Otherwise, the XL value will not be high. Okay. So to block the AC component, you need a higher value of uh, inductance, L. So that implies the higher value of inductance means you need more number of turns, that is more copper coils, okay, more copper wires are required, which of course it will be a costly and its volume will be large. Okay. So that's why for low frequency application, the inductive filter is not suited. Okay. In that case, you can go for a capacitive filter by using a large value of capacitor, so you can easily bypass. Okay, so here the frequency components can be easily bypassed by selecting a large value of capacitor, and it is um, comparatively less costly. Okay, if you go for a large value of capacitor, the cost is much less compared to your inductor. Okay, and second advantage of using capacitor for low frequency filtering is the capacitors are less noisy compared to inductor. Okay. So inductors are much more prone to noise. It can capture the electrical noise. Okay, so the output you will get that might be noisy using inductor. But for capacitor, the noise, okay, suppression is better compared to inductor. So this is one advantage of RC filter, you can say, compared to your inductive filter. So another one filtering that is called LC pi type filter. Okay, so if you need uh, better response and if you're working with a high frequency, not low frequency, then you can use this type of filter. See here, some AC component will first bypass to this capacitor C1. Okay, some AC component will be blocked to the inductor L and rest of the AC component will be bypassed to the capacitor C2 because the capacitor C1 and C2 will provide a low impedance path for the AC component and it will block the DC path. Similarly, just opposite, uh, this inductor will provide a low impedance path uh, for DC, means for DC its reactance will be zero and AC component will be blocked. Okay. So this type of filter will give a better response compared to a single LC filter okay, or um, RL filter or RC filter and generally used in high frequency. So let us see which type of filter we shall use in a rectifier because in the rectifier means basically that is uh, from AC to DC conversion and uh, uh, generally, we are working with 50 hertz or 60 hertz frequency. Okay, so in that case, so one thing is clear that capacity filter is always uh, uh, preferable because of low cost. Okay, and its compact size. The size of a capacitor okay, will be much less compared to your size of inductor, and cost will be less. So let's, for example, that it is a center type rectifier. So you can use any rectifier to demonstrate this one. So you are already familiar with the working mechanism of this center tape rectifier, and this is the load resistance we are using here. And see, we connect the capacitor here. Okay, so this is the capacitor. Okay, we connect across load resistance. Okay, now talking about uh, if you want to compare this circuit with your uh, LC, RC circuit, see, so this is your load, this is your capacitor, they are connected in parallel. So what about this one? So this resistance is basically the circuit resistance so that may come from the resistance of this, the on resistance of this diode D1, D2, et cetera, okay. So how it will work, so let us see. Uh, let us uh, draw the diagram first. What is the output we are getting from the output of uh, this type of rectifier, okay. So this is the input one. So it's just a rough sketch. So T, this is the input. So zero, pi, two pi, complete cycle we are applying. And the output we are getting. So let uh, this one is V naught. And uh, since it is a full wave rectifier, we are getting both cycle. That means this is the first half cycle, zero to pi. And also we are getting the second cycle pi to two pi, similarly the next cycle will appear, etc. So this is the output we can say, uh, this is the output without filter. So this is the output without filter, means we are not connecting capacitor, then we are getting this type of output. Now let us see when we are connecting the capacitor, what will happen? So when the signal will arise, see here the signal increases. Okay, so the capacitor starts charging. 
k and the capacitor will charge up to the peak value here because we reach at the peak terminal at pi by 2 k then again the signal will fall here then the capacitor will discharge the capacitor will discharge now the charging and discharging rate of capacitor that basically depends upon the time constant the product of r and c in the circuit okay so for this purpose to make the rc high okay so we need to select a higher value of capacitor c okay higher value of c capacitor you need to pick up so that generally uh, let the capacitor value in the order of 1000 microfarad okay or in the same range okay you need to pick up you need to select for this rectifier design so as a result what will happen see rc value will be higher see we do not have enough control over r because r is the load resistance so that is fixed for a particular load okay we do not have enough control over r so we can change the capacitor c so we can select this value c okay so when you are uh, taking a larger value of capacitor so it is expected that the time constant the product of r and c that will be higher okay so it will take a long time to charge and discharge okay so now see when this capacity this the voltage will peak as it reaches its maximum value okay then again the voltage will fall okay the rectifier output voltage will fall then the capacitor will try to discharge okay but it will discharge very slowly because its time constant is very high so it will discharge very slowly okay so you can see the next cycle will arise within that time duration what will happen the next cycle will arise again the capacitor will charge and it will reach at this peak value again the discharging cycle will be there and the capacitor will discharge slowly and again the charging will be there so if you see the charging and discharging that means the output after connecting the capacitor the red color line so this is the output with capacitor or with filter okay now see the ripples are eliminated the previously there was much more ripple okay see there, there was more variation but after connecting the capacitor the variation is minimized okay now if you select a proper value of capacitor then what will happen the output you will get so that yeah, this variation is you cannot detect means it will be almost straight this one okay if you observe the output on oscilloscope so you will see it's almost straight uh, okay it's a straight line this this type of ripples will not be visible if you select a smaller value of capacitor let uh, 10 microfarad you are selecting then uh, yeah, the ripples will be visible but if you will take a higher value of capacitor that 1000 microfarad or in that range okay so the ripples will be eliminated and it just it will be a perfectly straight line so it is nothing but the perfect dc so we can say it is a perfect dc the capacitor will charge and discharge but if we can uh, minimize the charging and discharging means the discharging time okay will be very smaller okay very high okay it will take a long time to discharge so basically here the capacitor gives like a reservoir when the signal will fall the capacitor will supply that amount of voltage it will hold that voltage okay in this way it will provide a constant dc okay and it can eliminate the ac so that uh, the filtering is going on and it will produce a constant output so this is all about filtering so thank you all so today up to this